We have about four more months left in this year. Let's chat about it. Hey lady, welcome or welcome back to your new favorite talk show for Christian women, Grown Lady Chat, with me, your host, Dr. Sharonda Simone. In today's episode, my purpose is to empower, strengthen, teach, enrich, energize, and motivate you to live God's purpose in your life. Now we have about four months left until the end of this year, but regardless of when you're watching this episode, I still hope that you're encouraged and inspired to take action. Now I'm a list person. Let me know in the comment section if you are as well. And I like to do lists because they help to hold me accountable. They help to keep me organized and they help to give me direction. Now I like digital lists. I like planners with paper and cute, you know, pens and pencils and stickers. I like all of it. But as the year is drawing to a close, I thought it would be helpful helpful for us in the JLC community to air some of our goals because there is power in accountability. There is impact in community when we can hold each other up and say, hey girl, I thought you said you were going to ABC or I thought you said you weren't going to XYZ. We're doing all of it in, you know, love and in support, but I do believe that there is so much impact in a community setting. Hey lady. Are you a woman who loves the Lord and who also enjoys beautiful things? Well, if you are, then you are personally invited to join my exclusive Christian women's group. In this group, we chat about clothes, beauty, home decor, parenting, marriage, cooking, and of course, our Christian walk. It's Christian lifestyle all encompassing. So be sure to join by clicking the link below. I hope to chat with you soon. Now back to our show. I'm currently in a weight loss group or a healthy lifestyle group, like a text group. And it's really helpful because nearly on a daily basis, we text each other and we say, okay, here are the goals for the day. And they're our own personal goals. And then we'll say, okay, did we accomplish it toward the end of the day? We'll encourage each other. We'll ask questions. We'll share even if we fall short of our goals. But overall, I have found the community so very helpful and inspiring to keep me accountable. Just tonight, because I want to stay accountable in my little fitness group. I'm going to, as soon as I'm done recording this episode, put on my gym clothes and I'm going to do my lower leg workout because I'm really trying to, you know, work on weights and, and toning this year. So I say all that to say in this episode, what I want for us to do a little something different is I want for you to hop in the comments and share just as much as you feel comfortable, share some of your goals that you want to accomplish in the last quarter of the year. Are you a woman who enjoys beautiful things? 34.5 Lifestyle has lovely, unique accessories for your everyday look and also for those special occasions. Click the link below to check out our latest accessory collection. Before I share mine, I do want to say welcome if it's your first time tuning in. Like I mentioned before, I am Dr. Sharonda Simone. I've been very successful over the years in setting and achieving goals. I've learned a few things, all right? And so I like to share and help others do the same. And of course, I have to say welcome back to those ladies who tune in, who have been a member of GLC. You show up week after week. You add so much value. Thank you very much for being here. It really makes me happy. I like to remind you that I do random monthly giveaways. Now I don't just randomly pull a name because I don't want for someone who just, you know, shows up maybe on one video or just, you know, leaves one comment to earn the giveaway prize because that wouldn't be fair to the people who show up, you ladies who really are invested in the community. So when I say random, I mean I'm going to give a gift at random but the winner will not be randomly picked. It's going to be someone who adds value to the community and gives to the community. And the easiest way for you to do that is to chat it up in the comments, right? Find us on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, tag yourself, you know, just be present and engage. If you're a giveaway winner, you could get a gift card, home decor items, makeup, skincare, or beauty products, even faith-based resources or personal development tools. 
all items that I know we as grown ladies who are about our father's business, all things that we are going to enjoy. So I'm going to share with you the goals that I have for the end of this year, okay? And this is an accountability check for me, all right? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to tone up uh, certain parts of my body, especially my upper body and my, um, my legs, okay? So I'm sharing with you that I'm going to stay consistent with weight lifting. That's something that I want to continue to do at least three to four times a week. Now, one thing I've learned over the years as someone who speaks and trains about personal development and achieving goals, I like to always remind you that when you're talking about certain goals, the ones that are near and dear to you, you want to keep those goals in your inner circle. You kind of have to protect those goals because not everybody wants to see you win. And there are some people who, even though they care for you and they want to see you win, they might be afraid that you're going to fail and they don't want for you to go through the, you know, the anguish and the hurt of a setback or a failure. So you have to be very careful who you share certain goals with. Um, on the flip side, there are other goals that you should tell everybody. Um, I call them your I quit goals. So let's say you are someone who smokes or let's say you're someone who overindulges, you know, in eating. You want to tell everybody around you, hey, you know what? I'm going to give up, you know, sweets. I'm going to work out three days a week. I'm going to give up cigarettes. You want to tell everybody around you because people are more likely to call you out and say, hey, I thought you said that, you know, you only eat sweets on Friday. Oh, I thought you said you're gonna give up you know, cigarettes. People are more likely to call you out than they are to encourage you, right? So use human nature to your advantage, okay? You want to tell your go up goals, the big goals and plans that you have, keep those in your inner circle, in a place, a safe space where people are going to constructively criticize or constructively give you advice but you don't want to share those and blast those everywhere. In my business, I realize that I have to spend some money to make some money. I have to spend some money to grow my business. So I'm really intentional about hiring at least one employee by the end of this year and training said employee. So that's something that I'm actively working on and I'm believing that I will find the person and I will be able to train the person as well as, you know, pay them for their work. those are some of my goals for the end of the year i cannot wait to read your comments down below i want to hold you accountable in a positive way all right so make sure you drop in the comments down below Don't forget that there are new episodes of GLC airing every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Thursdays, we are live, which means that you and I get to chat in real time. And let me tell you, the ladies who show up, they drop some gems, okay? And it's a lot of fun too. We have lots of laughter, lots of reflection and vulnerability. It's truly a really great place for us to grow together. Remember, I am Dr. Sharonda Simone, and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye.